A presentation of AIT. Let's go into the book. Jump in, take a look. Let's go into the book. think they understand us. Looks like it. What were you saying anyway? What do you like to eat? What were you saying? Come over here and say hello. Well, they're ignoring us. They sure are cute though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel kind of sorry for them. Do you think they're happy being all caged up like this? They look happy to me. Maybe, but they're animals. Wouldn't they rather live by a river and hunt for their own food? Why would they want to leave? They have everything they need here. I don't know. Just wondering. Oh, there you are. Why are you girls still here? The rest of the troop is ready to leave. We're trying to talk to the otters. Yeah. Oh, really? How'd that go? Pretty well. Hey, yeah, pretty well. Especially me. Well, that's great. But it's time to go now. Say goodbye. Bye, otters. Bye, otters. Welcome back. Thanks for your attention. So before we begin our inquiry projects today, let's talk a little bit about questioning. Questioning means the same thing as inquiry. You each chose a mammal that you wanted to learn more about, right? I bet you chose that mammal because you have questions about it. I'm curious what questions you have. Emmett? I want to know why some camels have one hump and some have two. We want to know if a jaguar could kill a lion. Oh, great, guys. It's important to ask questions like these. It really helps us focus when we read. Well, we all got resources at the Library Media Center. And today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a trick on how to get the most from what you're reading. I'm reading an article right now, and I have so many questions about it. And I wrote my questions on sticky notes. The article is about Chesapeake Bay. So one of my questions was, what kind of animals would I see in this habitat? And I wrote the question right on the sticky note and put it right into the book. So now it's your turn. I'm going to give you some sticky notes. And while you're reading about your mammal, I want you to write your questions on the sticky note and put it right in the book where you had the question. And hopefully these questions will hook you into the book like my questions hooked me into the article. Now if you have trouble coming up with questions, just look back at the chart that we made yesterday. Okay, readers, find a comfortable place and let's read. Conlon and Jacob, you can go over and use the internet to look at those websites. First, they have very, really, very thick fur around 700,000 hairs per square inch. That's more hairs than you have on your whole head. What would I look like if I had as much hair as otters do? I know otters have much more hair than people, so they can stay warm in cold water. But wouldn't they need to cut it sometimes so they don't look like Bigfoot? Maybe they shed the hair and it's warmer. Did it say that in the story? No, but other animals shed their hair. Yeah, like my dog, Scotty, or like my grandma's cat. Their hair gets all over the couch. Yuck! So, Otter Girls, where are your questions taking you today? We're wondering if otters shed like dogs and cats. Oh, Mrs. Pingle, I saw some otters at the zoo on a Girl Scout trip. They weren't sea otters, though. They were river otters. You did? How does this experience help Camila with today's reading? Because she has, what did we call it? Oh, I remember. It's called prior knowledge. Yeah, prior knowledge. She already knows something about otters. And she can use what she already knows to help her come up with questions. You got it. So Camila, what questions do you have? Well, the article is called Otters Saying Float. But the otters I saw didn't have any trouble floating. Why would they? Hmm, is that a question with an easy answer? 
So far, we don't have the answer for that. Some questions are easier to answer than others. Keep reading and thinking about that one. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, I have another one. What are people doing to help otters? Maybe there's some way we could help, but I don't know what it is. <gasps> Look, I found the answer to that. It says right here. This little orphan was only a few days old when aquarium folks found him. The caregivers fed him a special milk drink. As soon as he can eat solid food on his own, they'll introduce him to a real sea otter mother. She'll teach him skills he'll need to survive in the wild. Only a few sea otters get taken in like this. You know, I can really tell you're using your questions to help you focus when you read today. Keep going, girls. You're off to a great start. I wonder why the author wrote this story. Does she want us to help otters in some way? I have so many questions. Are otters endangered? Do people still hunt them? Are killer whales eating them? What happens to the orphans? Hey, you're an otter. Of course, I'm Marco. Polo? No, just Marco. Well, I'm Camila. Where are we? I have no idea. I'm a little nervous right now. I could use a swim. Does swimming help? Sure. Okay, let's go. I can hold my breath longer than you. No, you can't. Mom! Children, stop this otter nonsense. Yeah, stop it. You stop it. It's a human. They're after me again. Marco, don't be afraid. It's okay. Why were you so afraid of that little girl, Marco? Well, I don't like to think about it. It's scary. I understand. Hey, what's that smell? Food! Let's find it. Yes. Dig in. Minnows! My favorite. I prefer the crawfish. Oops, I dropped mine. Hey, can I have that? No, get your own. Hey, Marco, do you ever have to worry about killer whales? In a river? Nah, but I've heard that sea otters have to be careful or they'll become someone else's lunch. You're scaring me. Sorry. Marco, are you scared because you're kept in this cage? Cage? Well, this is not a cage. This isn't bad at all. I just want to go home. This isn't your home? No. I used to live by a river. One day I got caught in a beaver trap set by a human. That's a real cage. How'd you get out? I couldn't get out. First, I tried calling my family and friends. Help! Please, somebody help me! Mom? Dad? Anybody, please help! I'm caught in a cage. I'm scared. Help me, please! But nobody heard me. They must have been downriver searching for food. I was so scared I could hear my heart beating. I tried scratching the cage with my nose and my claws, but it wouldn't bend. I really scratched up my paws. They were bleeding. I tried everything I could think of to escape. <sighs> Finally, this human shows up. I was sure I was done for, but I got lucky. This one actually came to help me. It took me out of the cage, rubbed medicine on my paws, and then put me in here with you guys. Wow, so that's why you're kind of nervous around humans. Sure, that trap was terrifying. Plus, I don't know what happened to my family and friends. Now I understand. Hey. What are we doing exactly? We're grooming our hair. We sure have a lot, don't we? Sure. Our fur keeps us warm. If it gets matted down, you could freeze or even drown. I hope my family is all right. 
Marco, I'm sure you'll be back home with your family soon. Really? How do you know? I'll bet the humans brought you here so your paws could heal. They'll take you back to your river. Yay! I'm going home soon. Let's play. Playtime! Let's wrestle. No. Watch my paw. Hey, maybe this is why we don't get fat, because we're always swimming and playing. Marco, I love being an otter. Can't beat it. I wouldn't trade. Pile up, pile up, pile up, pile up, pile up, pile up. Camila, are you okay? Uh, yeah, just got a little carried away. Good questions will do that. All right, class, come on over to the rug so we can talk about what we read. So we all started with questions for our research project. And I want to know how many of you came up with questions while you were reading? How many of you found answers to those questions? Emmett? We were looking at the pictures and we wondered why the camel's humps were sort of flopped over. Did you find the answer? Yes. Camels store fat in their humps. And when they haven't eaten in a while, they use that fat. And with that fat gone, the humps are counter flabby. We are going to read more about camels in the animal encyclopedia. Or maybe you could go to the zoo. Great reading. So did anybody come up with questions that they didn't find the answer to? Camila? Well, I wondered why my article was called Otters Staying Afloat, when I know they're such good swimmers. But now I think maybe the author meant something else. Something like staying safe, staying alive. I like your thinking, Camila. Those tough questions help us understand what we're reading. It sounds like you really got into the book. You all came up with some interesting questions today. And now that we have sorted our questions, who can tell me how this group of questions helps us understand? Conlon? These questions helped us find facts we could use in our inquiry projects. We could find the answers by reading more. And these questions we couldn't answer from our reading. We really had to think hard about them. Those questions make us want to talk to each other more. And then we come up with even more questions. Yeah, and then it's a lot more fun. Come on, let's go see the orangutans now. Just a minute. I really want to see the orangutans this time before we have to go. What's so interesting about otters anyway? You wouldn't believe me. Want to go somewhere else? Yeah. Did you just see a capybara? No. Isn't the capybara cage over there? Yes, that's the problem. I was just giving a tour and it's gone. The exhibit's empty. Oh boy, am I in trouble now. I can't believe this happened on my first day. Oh, I just don't understand. Wait, wait, maybe we can help. I wish you could, but if you haven't seen it... I mean my asking questions. What? Well, was the door to the cage open? No, it was closed. Were there any holes in the fence or anything? I don't think so. No, I would have noticed that. Are cappy bears good climbers? No, but they are good swimmers. I've never heard anything about them climbing, though. Would anyone have taken them out? No, that's ridiculous. Wait a minute. What day is this? It's Wednesday. Oh, of course. Today is the day the veterinarian comes to look them over. Look! <gasps> well, thanks, you two. I was in such a panic, I didn't even stop to ask questions. Well, you gotta ask questions if you want to understand. 